Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if this is your first visit, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. I post new content every Sunday morning, religiously every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. For the last six months, I've been posting three to five new videos a week. So I've got a lot of content coming out. Today, we're going to talk about my Amazon fishing boat. I have a couple of videos that are going to be coming up and you're going to be seeing me on this boat. I have a lot of new new viewers out there. Lots of new folks stopped in and clicked on subscribe since I last talked about the Amazon fishing boat. So I thought I'd give you a, a quick walk around so that when you're looking over my shoulder while I'm catching fish, you'll know what I'm fishing on. It's all 100% an Amazon fishing boat. This is Bobber. Bobber started life out as just an Aquos inflatable pontoon boat. This is the eight foot model. It actually will hold, it will hold 500 pounds. And when I'm done, it will all pack down and fit into the boat. The original boat will fit into that bag. Now the Aquos actually came with a transom, and I know that I'm gonna have some people saying, you ought to put a motor on that thing. I considered it, I actually have a motor, uh, but there's a couple of reasons why I don't want a motor. Number one, I have to keep up with the battery and keep up with, and haul the motor around. The other reason is I'd have to register it and pay for all of that, and I don't, I don't need the motor because I have the motor. Now in a previous, uh, several years ago, I built actually built a boat in my backyard uh, and it turned out perfect. It was great, uh, except for the termites, really thought it was tasty and it didn't last very long. Only got to use it a handful of times. But I had purchased the Ocean South floating collapsible oars and these actually are two-part oars. So they fold up, they break down. And no more than this whole assembly weighs, those oars move it along really good. Now I did have to construct the oar lock assembly, but it actually serves double duty. As you can see, I have the rod holders. Now I'm, I'm not a artificial bait kind of guy throwing lures looking for big big lunker bass i just like to sit and put a minnow on the hook and see what i can catch i really like catching crappie which that's what this is for it's to get me away from the shore out to the deep water not to circumnavigate the lake or anything it's just it's just to get out to where the the fish are when it's hot and they're deep and it serves that purpose very well. The gear locker, which is the, the ice chest. I have the portable fish finder. That's a depth finder as well as uh, having a fish alert. It's a very basic fish finder. But man, that thing works great. First time I used it, it's the demo video video it's the video that you've already seen if you've been following the channel that portable fish finder rocks man the rod holder assembly started out these are bank originally i had a great big plastic assembly things on there uh they got in the way they were they were they didn't it just didn't work very well these are actually bank fishing and i'll put links to all of this in the description down below now i am an amazon affiliate and i do earn a little revenue every time you click a link it goes to support the channel does not change your cost at all and i will i have a a page on my amazon influencer page i have a group of i want to call it a playlist but on amazon it's not a playlist i have an idea list with all of the items that I use and have purchased from Amazon for fishing. It includes the rods, the reels. I really like these, this, this reel right here. This is the B. 
bumblebee. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm drifting. So these actually are bank fishing rod holders that I created a peg to fit into here. And now it's a little more flexible, a little easier to use. That's just on there. Not necessary. It's mainly on there so that when I'm heading out, I can get that up out of the way. Now the Aquos boat came with rod holders. They're way back here on the back and you gotta spin around to get to it. And I found that to be rather awkward. It's, it's just, I got long legs and they gotta go somewhere. Now currently you'll see on Amazon, the Aquos boat, boat has an oar setup that was not available when I bought mine, uh, but I'm kind of glad now, not necessary. It wasn't available, knowing what I know. I've got really long legs, and that setup they have has got a bar that goes right here. And I would never be able to turn to the side with that bar. And, I wouldn't be able to use those oars either because of my legs <laughs> sticking up in the way. These are in the perfect location. The minnow bucket, bait well. Fish net. And I, that does come in handy. I use these occasionally. I was mainly using them to hold the rods until I got out to the fishing where I wanted to put the hook in the water. But now I've just made this modification. So now all I have to do is move that up and they're out of the way. Or I can just actually leave these in the, the hooks in the water because they don't interfere with the motion of the oar. That allows me to do some trolling. I went with seven foot rods, so the rod tip is clear of the oar, end of the oar. This assembly is built out of poplar. One 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 by 12 piece of poplar and I had a couple pieces of oak laying around in the, sh the garage So it gives it a little strength I've just put that on there for the anchor. Now. This is my third anchor <laughs> I keep the last two got snagged on the bottom since I'm fishing brush piles and I had to cut the rope Hopefully the smaller one won't root <laughs> won't get hung up so that that pretty well gives you the overview it takes me about 15 minutes to put my boat together to put bobber together it fits just about it this primarily rides in the back of the f-150 the f-150 is at the ford dealership been there for three weeks now don't know when i'm going to get it back but this whole thing will fit in there without any issue. So, there you have it. <laughs> the Amazon fishing boat, Bobber. I hope y'all enjoyed the little tour of Bobber, the Amazon fishing boat. I sure appreciate you taking the time to watch. And if this is your first visit, I would definitely be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And if you found this to be entertaining or of value, please give me a thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. That really helps the algorithm understand that this is a, a this video has purpose. All right. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I am most deeply honored. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?